Now, you all know the pre-fight hype before a bout has its expected territory, and now it's commonplace to hear threats, verbal jabs, and boxing's echoing cries to stay relevant. And for some reason, we absolutely love it. And then sometimes the verbal jabs become actual jabs and all hell breaks loose. And we haven't even gotten into the ring yet. Here are five train wrecks of pressers where things got a little out of hand. Also, I'm always surprised when people who beat up people for a living get into a room and want to beat each other up. Man, that blows my mind. Number 5. Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier Muhammad Ali basically invented trash talking. Never before had athletes had such a platform to speak their mind and have their opinion heard like in the 1960s and 1970s. And in 1974, Muhammad Ali continued his love of the media spectacle when him and Joe Frazier made an appearance on Howard Cosell's show, Tell It Like It Is, before what would be their second fight. The two had already had a history going into this fight as Frazier had beaten Ali in the fight of the century three years before. Ali really never gave Frazier much respect after their first bout and Frazier didn't like it. So when they got to the show, things got pretty ugly pretty quickly. Ali kept going at Frazier and eventually Frazier decides to leave but not before getting in Ali's face. And then Ali grabs him and there you have it. Ali would go on to win his second bout with Frazier which set up the epic thriller in Manila. Number 4. Fernando Vargas, Ricardo Mayorga in 2007, Ricardo Mayorga and Fernando Vargas were set to square off for what would be Vargas' last fight of his relatively successful career. Mayorga, a known trash talker, was always prone to antics both inside and outside the ring. And during their pre-fight presser, Mayorga did what looks like a bitch slap attempt on Vargas, who obviously wasn't feeling it, setting off a nice fracas in which you pretty much hear all the Spanish cuss words. Mayorga would go on to win their fight, and I'm sure the two made up and danced the night away together in a Latin club afterwards. No, that didn't happen. Number 3. Derek Chiosora Keeps It Real Though the pre-fight presser kind of has a WWE element to it, usually WWE type behavior doesn't happen. The presser is typically a media event. And the media got all they could bargain for when in December 2016, Derek Chiasura tuned up for his fight with Dillian White by yelling, I am the baddest mf -er you will ever meet and tossing a table at him. I am the baddest man you will ever fucking meet. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah? And I really have to give credit to Chiasori here for his statement because when you stand up and throw a goddamn table at a dude, until the table lands, you are pretty much spot on with those remarks of being the baddest mf -er he will ever meet. I mean, damn, they're throwing tables up in here. <laughs> White would end up beating Chiasori a week later and the table retired undefeated. Number 2, Larry Donald, Riddick Bowe. Most of you remember Riddick Bowe, his bouts with Holyfield, the near all-out riot him and Andrew Galata caused, that time he joined the Marines and quit after three days. But do you remember the time him and then undefeated Larry Donald had a nice presser going? Yeah, no idea what was said to Riddick, but you have to guess it had something to do with either him having a vagina or the one belonging to his mother because you don't just clock a man in a suit for asking you what time it is. And Bo ended up giving Donald the first loss of his career and sending him into relative obscurity like Black China will be in two years. Number 1. Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis I saved the mother of all pre-fight pressers for my man, the captain of all Captain Kirk outs, Iron Mike Tyson. Now, Mike Tyson has an entire library of what the hell did he just say gold. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. And by the time Tyson vs. Lewis came to be in 2002, Mikey had already gone to jail and tried cannibalism. But this pre-fight presser was his best WTF performance ever. It all started when someone yelled at Tyson, get him a straight jacket, and then this gold happened. Put your mother in a straight jacket, 
you, you punk ass white boy. Come here and tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy. Well, look, I don't need to go through the whole thing, but it's pretty much an entire minute of gay slurs and Tyson very angrily and awkwardly coming on to this poor fellow for 41 foul seconds of, dear God, just listen. Fuck you ass for that, everybody. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. And that, young boys, is why you never, ever want to go to jail. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Agree with my list? Think I left any off? Leave a like, comment, and I hope you subscribe. I'm Five Points Vids, and you made it to the end of this video. Where do you go from here, Mike? I don't know, man. I might just fade into Bolivian, you know what I mean?